King Sun. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. I'm like Kennedy. You feel me? He like Clinton. I was the president for shit. Yeah, I love this drink. Well, you put my you. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you put my daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you scrambling and scraping for shit. I like that. You know, I'll be practicing. I gotta yeah. look, you look back me? on where I became. Mm. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we. I'm saying I miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday party, man. Man, I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, and no, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? If I could say this, like, you have a girl uh, being sexual to this one guy, maybe going down on him. Mm -hmm. And he's back there rolling his eyes, he's, he hiding the mother, and he, when, he, when he put his head down, it's one of them white boys sucking on him. Oh. You understand? That has happened. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got these guys who they go into these Turkish houses. Once you get to that door, you don't go back in there. But you know what they do in them Turkish houses. Well, you can assume what they do, quote unquote. Approximately two weeks later, the defendants. Oh, that's Kid Cudi. Got him. Kid Cudi, chat. Approximately two weeks later, the defendants co-conspirators set fire to individuals vehicle by slicing open the car's convertible top and dropping a model Molotov cocktail inside the interior police and fire departments reports extensively document the arson and conclude that the fire was intentionally set multiple witnesses would also testify to the defendant bragging about his role in destroying his individual's car wow <laughs> look all jokes aside and don't get me wrong there are still going to be jokes. Of course there are going to be jokes. It's me, goddammit. There are going to be jokes. Yes, but those jokes aside, I really do hope they put Diddy under the jail. You know, some of you guys really can't comprehend how bad of a person he actually is. And there's, there's evidence. 14 pages of it. And if they didn't have evidence, he wouldn't be locked up right now. They have been building a case against Diddy for a while, and they finally had enough evidence to finally get the diddler. And you know what? Thank God. Keep that nigga off the streets, boy, because that man, I, something is seriously wrong with Diddy. Something is incredibly wrong with Diddy. This, and I'm sorry, this goes beyond of, oh, he just a celebrity. Celebrities are into weird. No, there is something genuinely wrong with this man. And you want to know something funny? I saw a report that came out uh, from his lawyer that basically said that he was still working on himself and he was currently in therapy. There isn't any amount of therapy in the world that is going to fix this man. Racketeering, assault, sexual assault, arson, the list goes on. And you know what really bothers me? You know what really bothers me about people like this? You had everything. You didn't, you didn't have to ask for any, you had everything in the world. You had everything that you wanted. Friends, a family, money, nice houses businesses and you literally pissed it all away honestly now that i'm thinking about it probably due to your greed that that's it at the end of the day he's greedy but this is the absolute worst type of greed it doesn't seem like it really does seem like diddy's appetite for certain things were just it was just never quelled ever no matter how many freak offs how, no matter how many women no matter how many men you can tell that he just always wanted more i'm not gonna hold you the man is is genuinely sick and what's even crazier is there are still people out here that are defending this man i've literally seen people in the comments saying yo man that's that's crazy man did he Main Diddy, people, pe people targeting Diddy because of his sexual preferences. That's crazy. His sexual preferences? This is a 14 page indictment against this man. 14 pages of just straight evidence. We literally, months ago, we saw a video of him beating the crap out of Cassie in a hotel. 
in his towel. I don't know what other convincing that you guys are going to need at this point. Damn, guys, I'm sorry. Look, I just, I really just got into it because this whole thing just, poof, just blows my mind, seriously. But, um, yo, what's good, YouTube? <laughs> It's your boy Watch TV, man. And today, obviously, we are talking about Diddy getting arrested. And today, we are going to react to the U.S. Attorney, uh, essentially giving details about his charges. And before we even get into it, I just want to one more time say thank you guys so much for allowing me to hit 10K. I really do appreciate it. But again, I just want to thank you guys so much. Seriously, you don't have to click on my videos, but you do anyway. I just want to take the time to just say thank you for real. I really do appreciate it. But with that out of the way, let's react to this video. My name is Damian Williams, and I'm the U.S. Attorney here in the Southern District of New York. Today I'm announcing the unsealing of a three-count indictment, charging Sean Combs with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, interstate transportation for prostitution. The indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present, Combs abused threatened and coerced victims to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. That's crazy because if you want to protect your reputation, all you have to do is not do this in the first place. It's that simple. Sean Combs led and participated in a racketeering conspiracy that used the business empire he controlled to carry out criminal activity, including sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and the obstruction of justice. God damn. Let me say a little bit more about the charges. The indictment alleges that Combs abused and exploited women and other people for years and in a variety of ways. As alleged, Combs used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended sexual performances with male commercial sex workers, some of whom he transported or caused to be transported over state lines. Transported is wild. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak offs. <laughs> and he often electronically recorded them. The freak offs. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Hear me out, right? That really threw me off guard. Just hearing him say freak off is crazy. I just the way that he it, the way that he said it, freak offs. Like <laughs> calling them freak offs is the craziest thing ever, man. Something again, did he deserve to be under the goddamn jail? Oh my gosh. Lasted days at a time. Involved multiple commercial sex workers and often involved a variety of narcotics, such as ketamine, ecstasy, and GHB, what? which Combs distributed the to GHB? the victim to keep them obedient and compliant. As alleged, when Combs didn't get his way, he was violent, and he subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse so that they would participate in the freak-offs, and that Combs hit, kicked, threw objects at, and dragged victims, at times by their hair. On one occasion in March of 2016, that conduct was captured on video and later reported in the media. Specific Real quick, so GHB is an illegal drug that acts as a nervous system depressant. Kicked, dragged, and threw a vase at a victim in a Los Angeles hotel when the victim was attempting to flee. As alleged, these assaults often resulted in injuries to the victims, which took days or weeks to heal. In addition to the violence, the indictment alleges that Combs threatened and coerced victims to get them to participate in the freak-offs. He used the embarrassing and sensitive recordings he made of the freak-offs as collateral against the victims. And the indictment... Come on, though. He had to... Okay, that's just stupid. All right. So he had to know that's a double-edged sword because, yeah, you can use that you could use those videos for collateral because like it's embarrassing you were probably doing some wild stuff but also if someone gets a hold of those videos you're, you're cooked you're screwed you're done so that is most definitely a double-edged sword like bro there would have been no cameras in my house nothing that even looked like a goddamn camera you lost your mind what 
God. Alleges that he maintained control over the victims in several ways, including by giving them drugs, by giving and threatening to take away financial support or housing, by promising them career opportunities, by monitoring their whereabouts, and even by dictating their physical appearance. Wow. Because of all of this, the indictment alleges that the victims did not believe they could refuse Combs without risking their security or facing more abuse. The indictment also alleges other acts of violence undertaken by Combs and others, including violence against witnesses to his abuse, kidnapping, and arson. The indictment alleges that on more than one occasion, Combs carried or brandished firearms to intimidate and threaten victims and witnesses. Now, Combs did not do this all on his own. As I mentioned, Combs has been charged with RICO conspiracy. Ah. He used his business and employees of that business and other close associates to get his way. Those individuals allegedly included high-ranking supervisors in the business, personal assistants, security staff, and household staff. Oh, so they cooked too. Y'all are done. Anybody that worked for this man that helped him in any way, yo, you, go, you going to jail. Like, y'all are going to jail. And you know what? I feel sorry for none of you. You are going to get what you deserve, and I am so glad. The indictment alleges that those individuals facilitated the freak-offs. They booked the hotel rooms and stocked them with the supplies, including drugs, baby oil, personal lubricant, extra linens, and lighting. When the hotel... All right, we got to talk about the baby oil. All right, we have to talk about the baby. You guys already saw what I posted. You saw what I posted already. You know what I'm about to say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that this is a serious matter, but this man having over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lube is beyond freak behavior. I don't even know what to call him at, at that point. I really don't. That is what? what over 1,000 bottles? You know how much baby oil that is anybody that has that much baby oil is up to no good how the fuck was this not flat <laughs> if i see somebody buying baby oil in bulk you you're not yo you're planning something nefarious that's no nothing good is coming from this baby oil also how did he buy it what do you think did he did he get like a, a bulk order from like costco or did he order it from amazon like how the or did he collect all this baby oil over time was this a collection? Because every time he would throw freak offs, like he would have like residual baby oil just like chilling in the corner. He'd be like, yeah, put that in the back with, with the uh, with the baby oil storage. Freaky ass nigga. God damn. Not only did they find baby oil, they found nar narcotics and they also found like AR-15s. I don't even want to imagine what why he had guns in there along with the other inventory like i don't even want to imagine what this man was doing or who he was threatening but that is actually insane i am so glad that he is going to jail and i am so glad that there are people speaking out about all the atrocious things that happened to them while they were around diddy i'm so happy and to all you people that say yeah these people that are suing diddy yeah they just want money this is that's all it is like they just want money he probably didn't even do anything to him word and honestly i'd sue that nigga too you you lost your mind first of all do you know how long it takes for baby oil to come off of your skin especially an excess amount of it that is actually insane yeah i'd, I'd sue his ass too Shoo, you got these people out here with gaping buttholes because they participated in these freak offs because you made them do it. And not only that, they can't even sit down on the goddamn toilet because when they try to sit down, they constantly slipping and sliding because of all the goddamn baby oil. It is hard to get off. These poor people probably still slipping on toilets to this day. They arranged for victims and commercial sex workers to travel for the freak offs and they delivered large quantities of cash to Combs to pay for the commercial sex workers. The indictment also alleges that they helped Combs cover up his crimes. Mm -hmm. During the March 2016 incident at the LA hotel that I mentioned earlier, a member of the hotel security staff intervened and Combs attempted to bribe the staff member with a stack of cash to make sure that what happened was kept quiet. And as the indictment alleges, in late 2023, after public allegations were made about Combs' crimes, 
He and others pressured witnesses and victims to stay silent, including by making phone calls to witnesses and victims and giving them a false narrative of what they had experienced. Felony. And as alleged, Combs used others to help conceal his abuse by monitoring and preventing victims from leaving a location in order to hide their injuries or by locating and contacting a victim who had attempted to flee. As part of this investigation, in March of this year, special agents from HSI executed search warrants at Combs' residences in Miami and Los Angeles. They also executed a warrant for Combs' electronic devices. During those searches, agents seized evidence of the crimes charged in this indictment. They seized firearms and ammunition, including three defaced AR-15s and a large capacity drum magazine. God damn. They also seized evidence of the freakoffs. Electronic devices. Bro, what the hell were y'all doing in there? What, like, seriously, what the f are you doing? And also, see, he's about to talk about the electronic devices. No cameras. This is where he tried to, he really tried to extort people using this footage, and now it's coming back to bite him on the ass. That's what your dumb ass gets, stupid. God, you dumb. And videos of the freak offs with multiple victims. And they seize cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. I am so sorry. I'm very childish. Here are some of the items that we recovered during the searches. Oh, Jesus Christ. As you can see here, this is a drum magazine, large capacity, and it contains, I believe, 59 rounds. I mentioned as well that we recovered three AR-15s. This is a close-up shot of one of the AR-15s, and you can see right here the serial number has been thoroughly defaced. Wow. Another picture of more ammunition and parts of two AR-15s right there. Oh, he is cooked. Cooked. Now, I want to be clear about two things. First, this office is determined to investigate and prosecute anyone who engages in sex trafficking, no matter how powerful or wealthy or famous you may be. No one should doubt our commitment on that. A year ago, Sean Combs stood in Times Square and was handed a key to New York City. Today, he's been indicted and will face justice in the Southern District of New York. Damn. Second, we are not done. This investigation is ongoing, and I encourage anyone with information about this case to come forward and to do it quickly. Anyone so they're probably going to find more. So yeah, Diddy is done. There is probably no way. This is a slim chance that he is going to get out. He doesn't need to get out, but there is a very slim chance. They also denied him bail, if you guys didn't know. They denied him bail um, because he's at this point, he's a flight risk. Information can call 1-877-4-HSI-TIP. I want to express my deep appreciation for the victims and witnesses who have used their voices and helped bring this criminal conduct to light. We would not be here without them. So after hearing all of this, I genuinely would love to know what you guys think in the comments. And I, if you are still defending him, I really would like to know why. Because there is no reason for you to defend him at this point. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, man. There he's done he's done i don't know i feel like i feel like the same people that defend that are defending diddy also defend andrew tate so <sighs> yeah that's not too surprising then yeah this is just disgusting and honestly like i said before this is a result of just an insurmountable amount of greed just unadulterated greed and also it's just it's wild because the way that diddy was moving he was acting like he was impenetrable. Like nothing could happen to him. Just because you were a celebrity doesn't mean sh Karma and the law will catch up to you very quickly. So he's going to get his. For sure. But for real, for real, I ain't going to lie. I'm still stuck on the 1,000 bottles of, of lubricant and baby oil. First of all, can you guys imagine how scary it would be to see Diddy naked at one of his freak-offs with just... 
uh, which is him in his body shining and glistening because he got on two layers of baby oil. That is, that's like seeing Freddy Krueger for the first time. That is so scary. Yo, if you see a naked Diddy all oiled up with baby oil, yo butt is getting taken. It is getting taken. That is no longer your butt, that's his butt. And you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Some of you guys may disagree. Or some of you may agree with me. I don't know. But low key, I just want to see some of the footage. I just want to, I want to see some of it, man. Like, I, I want it, I really wanted to be like a fly on the wall at some of these parties. I just want to see the crazy shit that this nigga was doing, bro. I really would love to see. I'm just, I'm curious. Because I bet just describing it is nothing compared to actually seeing it in real time. I am beyond curious, but guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with anything that I say? Do you disagree? Please do me a favor. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, Diddy can rot in jail, and then after that, he can rot in hell. If you say he's innocent, I don't know. Something is wrong with you, man. Seek help. Seek help. All of this evidence, all this evidence, and people are still defending him. I genuinely do not get it like i said just let me know what you all think follow all of my social media pages they will be listed in the description down below do not forget to share like and subscribe follow me on twitch we are going live this saturday around 7 45 p.m eastern standard time and make sure you guys join the discord as well i will see you all in the next video peace